they call me Hello, welcome back to my channel, Say Colombo. Yeah, today we're doing the Irish drill scene won't be stopped. Gangster Rap International Island. So there's a drill scene going on around the world. Yeah, they say it started in Chicago and it's come to the UK or whatever, it's gone everywhere. So now we're checking out Ireland, the Irish drill scene see what they're saying I haven't heard any Irish drill at all so this is all new to me anyway subscribe to the channel like the video comment some suggestions and share the thing yeah let's get into this Ireland was anchored at one stage in the gospel. Unfortunately, the Roman Catholicism has let people down. Shut your mouth, just you be cunt. You're gonna get wrapped and smoked in blunts. Chase man down, no point. The Roman catch man. The Irish, Roman Catholics, like my family, is all Irish. All Irish. At one stage in the gospel. Unfortunately, the Roman Catholicism has let people down. Shut your mouth, you stupid cunt. You're gonna get wrapped and smoked in blunts. Chase man down, no point to run, man. Catch man quick, and as I get tough. Come at me, you must be dumb. Slump, man, I'll end up red rum. This is Dublin, men get dumped. Man got the bump, be there for the action. Man, I let the thing off and watch him back lips go. The music itself, I find oppressive. It's not good for the future, it's not good for our society. All of my gang are Dublin riders. Man, I get kidnapped just like Tiger. Man, I get ripped to shreds, kicked in the Ireland has had a small but committed underground rap scene since the 80s. But more recently, aside from Reggie Snow, who got snapped up by the team behind Migos and Young Fug, it's mainly parodies and comedy rappers that are getting any kind of attention. I'm, I'm Irish, not a gypsy. Still bare knuckle fight when I'm tipsy. Drink Guinness, shots of whiskey. These roads out here are risky. A little shite, I'll put on the black ballet on tight. That is until Drill exploded over there, based around two main hubs, Dublin and Aflo. And whilst there's a host of promising MCs like Chucks, Cubes and Jug Jug, the two kings are JB2 from Aflo. How many affiliates gonna give blood for their benefits? I don't know, bro, he relevant. Fendi pop for the pop elegant. And Ink with his 8 6 gang from Dublin. For the shine gun bandit, all of my gang got bad intentions. Hit him with a shit man, splash him, drench him, snap off the blade man. I wonder if any of the locals have heard of Irish drill. When you think of Irish bands, you always kind of think of like the cold, like the guitar, guitar, and just like a band. Like I love Bono. I like you too. That's the same Bono. Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> Irish music is like Celtic music, you know, the, the fiddle. A6, A6 gang, that's too many men, too many friends. The drums. All of them bombs, I'm setting them off. All of them shots, I'm there. It's true though, man. Ireland is known for like, boy zone and like, you know what I mean? Fuck, not you two and that. It's mad. Bono. Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> Irish music is like Celtic music, you know, the, the fiddle. A6, A6 gang, that's too many men, too many friends. The drums. All of them bombs, I'm setting them off. All of them shots, I'm letting them off. The pipes. Tap me in the face, I'm broke that shank off. Valley on me, man, look like a bank job. Oh, when it's six, it's here, put all some digits. Put that one to his head, I'm not gonna make the shank off. Jesus. I actually really like it, but I'm just so used to hearing like uh, sort of like a British accent when you listen to drill, like so. Irish people just like shouldn't be rapping, like no, like, the accents and just kind of like their vocab is just wrong, like it just doesn't sound good, like. I've come to Darndale, a short drive outside of the city centre, to a housing estate to meet the guy who's dubbed the Godfather of Irish drill. Ink. This is the area that you grew up in. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're gonna walk down, bro. Yeah. Everyone from the hoods out today, okay. boy. So what is this a regular thing? Yeah, it's every day, bro. <laughs> Serious? Serious, yeah, yeah. bro. Maybe even tomorrow. Yeah. Man, I jump up on that car for this shit. Do you know what? Yeah, I was going through like. 
a lot of your Instagram posts and stuff like that, yeah. I was looking at some of the comments and one of the common denominators I saw was a lot of people saying the godfather of Irish drill. Well, they call me the godfather of Irish drill because I started Irish drill in this country back in like 2015. I decided to jump on a Shirak remix and it kind of blew me up from there. Initially, when you started doing it, how did people take to it? They didn't know what the fuck it was, like, you know what I mean? And lots of people were mistaken, oh, these are the IRA, but we're not the IRA, we just make music and that's it. There was a time back in the day, you had like the London boys all rapping or whatever, and you had some that were rapping in like an American accent or whatever, and that passed. Yeah. And then people started like using their own accents and yeah. stuff, yeah? I've noticed here, there's some drillers that rap in English in a, accent. In English, like, yeah. a, uh, like a London sort of accent. Used to be Frank Green News from the opposite ends. Juice gets spilled like go, yuck, yuck, fuck them gems. Few you wrecks in the H in the jailhouse. Like anything Why is that? Because the UK at the moment, it's so influential, like, and all these youths are jumping on and they're seeing what they see on the telly. Nah, you know what, though? It's true what he's saying. It is true what he's saying. Big up to this guy because he's just doing his thing with his accent. It's true. You know what I mean? You gotta do your thing. Past. Yeah. And then people started like using their own accents and yeah. stuff, yeah. yeah. I've noticed here there's some drillers that rap in English in a, accent. In English, like yeah. a uh, like a London sort of accent. Used to be Frank Green News from the opposite ends. Juice gets spilled like go, yuck, yuck, fuck them gems. Few wrecks in the H in the jailhouse. Like anything. Why is that? Because the UK at the moment, it's so influential, like, and all these youths are jumping on and they're seeing what they see on the telly and they're replicating it. So in fact, they're replicating what it is. They're not being true to their accent. I embrace the Irish accent because I was born here, like, and that's my roots and that's where it's going to be, like, you know what I mean? I think it's... That's what I'm saying, bro. Big up this guy, man. It's true and they're replicating it. So in fact, they're replicating what it is. They're not being true to their accent. I embrace the Irish accent because I was born here, like, and that's my roots and that's where it's gonna be, like, you know what I mean? I think it's essentially it's people like you, yeah, that will encourage more people over here to just be themselves. I've given them the platform to do it. Like, don't disrespect it, lads. Just jump on, use your own accent, be yourself. Doesn't matter if you're from any other country. Use your normal accent, just be yourself, man. I've said it from the start, bro. Yes, bro. Big up ink for that, yeah? 100%. So now I'm heading to a place which is apparently the spot in his end, where there's a bunch of people from the scene just hanging out. It's an oiper, an oiper. You are not man, them, you are not gang. Your man, your man is an oiper. I make one bone go and say, and say for the boy balls. And I'll hurt it with mask. All you see is boy balls. No, so this is probably just reminds me of like, I was in my area when I was a young one. Is that, what's the time? It's like, tw it's 20 past nine, yeah? There's like, bare young bucks still out here. Like, still out here. Like, proper young folks still out here. Like, enough time, you might have to fucking go bed. <laughs> It's a mate of mine, Dub Zeno, that I wanted to meet, man. Are you alright, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. You got the whole gang out today, yeah? No, hell no. <laughs> How long have you been doing music for? Probably about four months now, bro. I was over in the UK for a word, and I was just seeing a little market, so I'll try and see what happens, and obviously. It happened, didn't it, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It just popped up. Like. Yeah, it's interesting still because for a long time there hasn't been an artist that has proper been repping the Irish side of yeah. stuff yet. How come it's now, though, that things are starting to change here? That's just, I think it's just this generation, isn't it? Yeah. You don't just want to see someone that's rapping that's like them from their area talking about real life. What is real life? This is real life. Look around, bro. This is real life, bro. Obviously, you guys have, like, an element of like influence. Does it ever play on your mind a little bit about like some of the stuff that you say to the younger lot that are listening to you? Yeah. But when we were that age, we were talking shit, you know what I mean? This is fingless north you know what I mean? We're all little bastards around here with kids, you know what I mean? <laughs> Simple as that. You ain't never been trapped on the road. You ain't never made cash on the road. You ain't never made actual dough. Jump on a boy, bro, rash on the road. Here, there's loads of rats in your road. Drill's growing popularity and journey into the mainstream means it's being looked at with a more critical eye. Its violent lyrics are being blamed in some quarters for stabbings and violence on the street. And some music videos are being pulled from YouTube because of it. Maybe as a reaction to that, Ink puts disclaimers at the start of all of his videos. Field execute turn signal back there. Are you serious? Why is he under arrest? 
It was self-defense. Power to the people. Don't worry, you're safe here. Please! I'm tired of playing the safe. Thank you for this journey, no matter how it ends. Queen and Slim, in cinemas January 31st. Yeah, go watch that. To explain that, they're just for entertainment purposes. Go my down with a kitchen devil, my finish and it is melon. When I was his age, I walked through West Ford and with a Troy Gulla. Dublin, money get gone in 86 games, but your boys are weird. A little something we cooked up earlier, yeah? Yeah, bro, yeah, bro. There's obviously this conversation about like banning drill and all of these type of things, yeah? Yeah. Especially with the YouTube channel taking down some of the songs or whatever. Has that happened to you? Yeah. Have you had any videos taken down at all? Well, I've had like, lots of people who complain about the videos. That's why we put disclaimers in place. Like, they, a lot of people are writing drill music for a lot of life crime now that's going on, do you know what I mean? But like, if somebody sits there and they're watching like uh, Friday the 13th, are you going to like, oh my God, they were watching Friday the 13th, they went down and done a lot of stabbings because of it. The answer is no, it's an over 18, it's a genre of music. <laughs> it's true, man. It's true what you say. I don't know what's going on, do you know what I mean? But like, if somebody sits there and they're watching like uh, Friday the 13th, are you going to like, oh my God, they were watching Friday the 13th, they went down and done a lot of stabbings because of it. The answer is no, it's an over 18, it's a genre of music. It's the same with the movie. If someone goes out and does that, they just want to do that. It's in their blood to do that. It's nothing to do with music. Obviously, the majority of the time, we can't see your face and stuff, yeah? Yeah. And, like, from the videos, initially, I thought you was a white guy. Okay. But then I realised, obviously, you're, you're mixed heritage, you know, you're yeah. mixed race, right? Yeah. yeah, Coming from where you come from, yeah. like, how, how was that for you? Well, it was, it was pretty racist back then because, like, there wasn't many, like, uh, mixed race people around at the time, you know? So I just had to battle my way through. But at the end of the day, Racist like comments and stuff like that are what made me stronger throughout the whole lot of it. It's built me up over the years, you know what I mean? Mm. Now look, I just embrace my colour, embrace who I am, and I just embrace my heritage altogether. Where London has Link Up TV and GRM, Ireland has Dear Fact TV. Dear Fact means positive in Irish, and the channel already has over 26,000 subscribers since launching in 2017. Man like Mo, what are you saying, bro? what's going on? The man in charge. Yeah. I hear you got the big YouTube channel around here I've that everyone's there. talking about. Yeah, what we're trying to do is showcase all of Ireland's talent to the world on an international level. If it's drill, if it's a new genre that starts tomorrow, if it's Irish, we're trying to push it. The idea outside of Ireland, yeah. of like the drill aspect is a bit weird for a lot of people. Yeah, black people in Ireland, yeah. that's the first thing people are saying. And then they were like, they're doing drill. And they're like, these people are copying us. I noticed that like going through your channel as well, that yeah. looking at some of the artists that use yeah. the, the London accent yeah. and then the artists that don't, yeah. I noticed that it's predominantly the black artists yeah, that yeah, use the yeah. London accent. accent yeah. Is there an identity issue? You guys have people to look up to. Obviously the scene, you guys have Skepta, you guys have Stormzy. That man broke out through the scene maybe a few years ago. Whereas the scene has just only started. So everybody's kind of lost, do you know that type of thing? What a fucking prick, prick, and what a fucking bitch. Now how you gonna leave your cousin and hop in your auntie's whip? See the likes of Ink in that when he's rapping, like he's born bread, you know, like he has the Irish accent. If I was to spit on a an Irish accent on the track, I don't know. Like, I just feel when I when I spit in the UK, like I'm saying, the UK people are listening to it, so like they're listening to themselves as well. Have you had any experiences of um, YouTube videos being taken down? That's not really big in Ireland yet. No, it's not an issue yet because the violence is not it's not close to where you guys are in the UK. Ireland hasn't really touched that threshold yet. Okay, so because of how minuscule it is, yeah. they're not particularly blaming it on the music. music yet. Not yet, yeah. Do you feel like that's coming? It's coming, definitely coming. What do you feel like is the future of your channel? Channel, basically we are trying to find our own identity and we're just at the beginning. We're taking baby steps. Well, we're starting to walk slowly, but we're getting there. 
It's sick to see young entrepreneurs focusing their energy into something positive. The most viewed MC on Dear Fact TV is a guy who sometimes goes by the name of JB2, but other times is Mr. Affiliate. Iris born with African heritage, he's made a name for himself with a wildly unique flow that went viral and definitely divided opinion. People keep talking about JB2, we can't find him, he don't seem to be in Ireland. We're speaking to management and we're trying to find out exactly where he is and somehow I've managed up in Essex. This is where he's at. What's going on, bro? Good, man. We fi finally found you, bro. How is the most viewed Irish drill rapper in London? Music. Yeah? Shows. Everything's better in London. Ireland is a bit slow. When um, your name came up a, a few times or whatever, I went and checked out your videos, you sounded like somebody who was from where I was from. Yeah. You have to stick with something that people like to hear. Mm. A lot of people like the British accent, so, you know, I put it on in the, in the song so they can relate even better. It's people saying that my, I have a fresh accent. Yeah. Like, it doesn't really sound fully British, doesn't really sound fully African, it's like mixed, so. What would you say your music says about you? I'm a jumpy person. I'm a very angry person, jumpy person. Where does that come from? Why do you feel that way? Well, my man don't even sound Irish. To be honest. Fully British, doesn't really sound fully African, it's like mixed, so. What would you say your music says about you? I'm a jumpy person. I'm a very angry person, jumpy person. Where does... I could understand if he was like, had a proper, you know, Irish accent, but he hasn't. You know what I mean? Man sounds more English than anything. So, was, you can understand why he sounds from the UK. Mm. A lot of people like the British accent, so, you know, I put it on in the, in the song so they can relate even better. It's people saying that my, I have a fresh accent. Yeah. Like, it doesn't really sound fully British, doesn't really sound fully African, it's like mixed, so. What would you say your music says about you? I'm a jumpy person. I'm a very angry person, jumpy person. Where does that come from? Why do you feel that way? Yeah, where I come from, the environment was tough. So when I go to studio, I'm able to put all my expressions, emotions on the track. Just take out all my anger. I don't really feel like to put anger on the streets like that. For all of the times that I've been following drill music, yeah, from Chicago to the UK side of it, you have probably the most unique flow that I've seen. Where did that come from? Each day, I would practice how to, you know, break down flows, even with words, break them down like two syllables, three syllables, and I'll break them down, it'll just make the flow a bit jumpy. And then there's flow, the affiliates, it took a lot of time to even make that song. How many affiliates gonna get blood for their benefits? I don't know, bro, hurt me, relevant. As far as at the session, that was like one of the clips that literally went around and become like a massive viral moment for you. What is that like? It was crazy because I was still a kid. I was 17 and you know, my normal life is just to go out, play kickball or go to movies or something. One day after putting out the freestyle, I wake up to see this has gone viral. I run downstairs, I've gone crazy in the house. Streaming in my neighborhood. I blown, I blown, I blown. Everyone yeah. was very surprised because no one really believed in me like that. No one believed in no you? No one at all. Yeah. What did that feel like? It motivates me. Being in, in the hood yeah. side, there's just so much negative energy and you feel like doing positive stuff to prove to people wrong. Yeah, bro, I feel you, bro. I feel you. I've popped back to Ireland now because my guy Ink has a show in his hometown. Yo, man, Ben Mullinga, is this where this guy's from? Mullinga. I've popped back to Ireland now because my guy Ink has a show in his hometown and he's messaged me to link him at a tattoo parlor. Taking an 86 face right now. Right now? Yeah. Oh, wow. A lot of the time when I know that someone like does spontaneous tats, it's like usually in a place where you just can't see it. 
He's just repping it from the absolute get-go right now. Where do you think like the future is for like Irish drill? There wasn't a thing where music was so popular in Ireland initially. Drill is a huge thing right now. Irish drill is different from English drill. I think it's going to come different. I think maybe we can go mainstream, even bigger than English drill. These type of shows mean the start of something new. Do you know what I mean? This is the this is where America started off, where the UK started off, where everybody started off. They had to start from something. This is the start. Shout out the black box. See him in public, gash up his face. Doing a walking count on flats and it's back to the band, no counting stacks got we jet or box to the point. I always wanted to be a rapper ground look, you know. I always wanted to do rock music. Like I said, I just want us to have a music scene as well, which is starting to happen now. It's the, everything's starting to open up for us. Do his head and mock him. Boy, but I pray that the shit ain't walking. Boy, so my trip here's been brief, but I really feel like I've got a good snapshot of a movement in its infancy. And yeah, maybe they're still finding their feet, and maybe they're a bit in awe of London, but it's full of enthusiasm and ambition. And in Inc., they have a godfather who's determined to stamp some Irishness on the drill scene, whatever the ops say. I'm blow every one of them motherfuckers to bits, but I watch your mouth, you fucking little tick. Man, I get clapped in the pub when he drinking Guinness. All of my thugs are driven, blood spilling, that's a Dublin shivin'. 20 inches there, cut them and ching them. All of your gang are posers and actors. If man had a knife, man, he'd hold that backwards. I'm in gas and I'm old stock. No now here on every block. Man, that shit was lit, man. Yeah, man. Yo, the Irish, big up the Irish uh, drill scene. As if they're building a scene, 2009. As if they're building a scene. Inc. and JB2, big up them too. Putting the Irish rap scene on the map. Yeah, man. If they got any tunes, drop them in the comments. Any other rappers that is, rap is repping it for the Irish, let me know. Let me know what's going on. Uh, like the video, comment, subscribe, share. Um, Saint Colombo, I'll see you in the next video.